Hello, I am Alexandra. We keep working hard so you can always have the best possible Open Xava and the new Open Xava 7. 6.1 is the best Open Xava yet. Let me show it to you. Open Xava 7. 6.1 is a maintenance release where the most important changes are bug fixes. Additionally, we have updated some third party libraries, made some small improvements, and worked on the documentation. It's worth updating, there are no compatibility issues with the previous version, and our application will be more secure and robust. With this new 7.6.1 release, we continue improving open Xava archetypes, making them more complete and useful right from the start. Now, the project management archetypes include automatic email reminders powered by Quartz, so you can easily keep track of planned tasks and deadlines. The master detail archetypes have also evolved. You can now generate a PDF directly from the detail view, perfect for printing reports or summaries. They also include automated JUnit tests and a pre-populated database, so everything is ready to explore and test immediately. The classic invoice demo project has also received some great updates. It now uses local date instead of java.util.date comma. The invoice module includes its own print to PDF action, and automated tests ensure everything runs smoothly. Finally, the email configuration in the archetypes is now preset for Gmail, commented out by default, and the SMTP port property comes with a sensible default value. So everything works more easily out of the box. We have updated the dependencies for the embedded Tomcat and Log4j. Additionally, we have also updated the JDBC driver version for PostgreSQL AS400 Mississippi SQL Server and Firebird used in the documentation and in the pom.xml of new projects. We've also improved the documentation for at SimpleList in the reference guide, which now clearly explains how you can customize its look and feel using CSS. And we'll finish with the most important part, the bugs. From visual details like icons that didn't look quite right or frames that didn't align properly, to deeper improvements such as better handling of references, layout consistency, and locale-dependent date formats, even in Java 25. To update to the latest version of OpenXava, you don't need to download OpenXava Studio again. In fact, you don't need to download anything at all. All you have to do is change the version number in the pom.xml of your projects. Let's take a look. Open your project's pom.xml file. In the OpenXava.version entry, write 7, 6.1, and save. On the project, choose Run as Maven Clean. Then go to Run A's and choose Maven install. Wait a moment. And your project is already upgraded to 7, 6.1 and ready to run. Moreover, from now on, when you create a new project from OpenSava Studio, it will default to version 7, 6.1, without you having to configure anything. OpenXava Studio always uses the latest available version for new projects. To know all the details, I recommend checking the full announcement on the OpenXava.org blog. In the video description, you will find the direct link. Bye!